there's a fly in here. Oh, uh, it's gonna be a thing. All right, so there's a fly trapped in here with me. Chances are I'm probably gonna be swinging around the room in this video trying to get it, but let's just go ahead and dive in. We'll see what happens. So recently on my Instagram, I posted and asked you guys if you wanted to see an Amazon haul for things that I'm buying for my daughter's new college apartment. I did not expect for it to be such like a high percentage. I think it ended up being like 92% of you guys said yes and like 8% said no. So I decided I'm gonna just turn this into a series. So, but today's not the Amazon haul. I'm still waiting on some things to arrive. I think that's gonna be next week. Um, today's gonna be the Walmart haul. So this is something I wish I kind of learned years ago because this is her third year year in college but I realized that it's just better at least for me personally to get these basic items out of the way at home because you know in a college town everyone's moving in at the same time and everyone's trying to do the same thing at the same time so this is definitely one of those trips where I just felt like okay I have my crap together I got it done now and it's just a complete stress reliever I know that you know we'll probably go out and get little things here and there but I did did not want to do basically like the bulk shopping you know in the college town so I'm gonna share with you guys what we got at Walmart. So the first thing, I'm actually just gonna insert a picture because it's just too big for me to hold up, but we did get a vacuum cleaner. I can't remember if we got a vacuum cleaner or not last year, um, but basically, we just wanted to get a bigger one and she is having different roommates so she roomed with like five girls this past year and this time she's rooming with just one of her best friends so i can't quite remember if we got a vacuum cleaner because we still haven't gone back to her current apartment to move her out we'll be doing that soon but um we just decided that we needed a vacuum cleaner i knew that if we got one we got a very small one just because the current place she's in she's rooming with like five girls and so there's just like very limited space to put anything in is kind of almost very similar to a dorm room and her upcoming new place is definitely going to have a lot more room because she's just rooming with one her best friend basically so we decided it was time to upgrade and get a bigger vacuum cleaner. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, uh, the next things are just, you know, again, this is like a basics haul for her, but we got a big pack of paper towels. We also just got like a starter pack of toilet paper. So we got that. And we also really focused on a lot of cleaning products. So that's basically what we wanted to get out of the way on this trip. So we did get her this big tub of Tide Pods. She does prefer the pods. I personally don't. I'm a liquid or powder kind of girl, but she likes the Tide Pods. So that's what we get. So we got a big bin of that. We also picked up some of, uh, or this pack of tea lights. She just really loves tea lights. I don't actually know if she puts her tea lights in like a tea light holder or if she just kind of like puts them around. I need to ask her. I just know that she really loves like burning these. And you know, tea lights just don't go for very long, but they are super charming and she's all about like, setting an ambiance and stuff when she studies or when she reads and stuff like that so we just got a big pack of this we also picked up some fabric softener so here is the one that she chose this is the cool cotton i don't even think i've ever tried this one either i think i buy the one with like the yellow lid but there's that she also just I'm, I've never really been a big fan of these. Not that I'm like comparing my cleaning style to her cleaning style. I guess I kind of can't help it. But I've never really been... I've never really used stuff like this. I always have some type of like all-purpose cleaner that I wipe things down with. Um, I don't ever use like Clorox wipes, but she is all about this thing. And you're going to see a really nifty like tool that or container that I bought on Amazon when I do the Amazon haul for these. 
but it's just like a three pack kind of gra grabbing at random today i also feel like i can't talk i'm just like stuttering over my words today I hate when that happens. But anyways, so she grabbed a five star, five subject, college ruled notebook. Uh, we really don't shop for school supplies, at least not together. It's just something that she kind of does once she gets like her syllabus and she figures out, you know, like what her note taking, studying style is gonna be like. Um, but she did say that while we were in Walmart, she's like, oh, I got to get this notebook because it is her favorite and it has five like sections and each section is divided by a little pocket folder right here. And I'm just going to make a general assumption that she separates her classes into each, you know, subject that this notebook basically provides. So um, this was the pattern she picked. And there's that. The other thing we picked up is this Sharpie highlighter set. Now we were gonna pick up like pens, pencils, but she said she's actually really good on that stuff. I'm not surprised honestly, because as most of you know, I send her quite a few care packages throughout the school year and I always send pens, pencils, highlighters. But she did say that there was a different brand of Sharpie highlighters I sent to her once. They're like the thinner kind and she says that they bleed through the paper. I don't know if these bleed or not because it's the same brand, but you can see that there's no smudging with these, which how, how can it even do that? How does it have a smear guard? Like the, that's gotta be like wizard magic, right? Cause I don't understand that. But listen, whatever, these are the highlighters that she picked out. Okay, then we just saw these really cute lights and decided to pick them up. We just got one. Chances are we'll probably need something like two. It's a 20 count. You can see like the bulbs are like round, uh, indoor, outdoor, and I think they're just gonna like decorate with this. I'm not sure where it's gonna end up. I don't know if it's gonna be in their living room or in her bedroom. But I am going to do like a move-in vlog and show you guys everything. So if you want to, um, yeah, if you want to see how that goes, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So this was just like a little decorative thing. So the majority of kitchen utensils, um, yeah, just things like that, we're getting them between two different places. It's either going to be like the at-home store or Amazon, and you're going to see quite a bit of it in the Amazon haul. But while we were at Walmart, we just saw these like regular glass mixing bowls, and I said, you know what, let's pick up these. So we just got two of them. I honestly don't think they need two. I really don't. I think they just need one. They're not like chefs, you know, we don't need a complete kitchen, but listen we went ahead and got two actually i might just keep one because i need mixing bowls but you know just one good bowl in case they want to make like pancakes or something like that so i got that at walmart okay let's see we also saw these and thought they were really cute we probably might pick up another set but it's this little canister set with like the wood detail. And I'm not entirely sure what they're doing about their style because both of the girls are very different in their aesthetic. I think my daughter is more traditional, eclectic, boho, okay? And I think her best friend is maybe a little bit more modern. So like black and white, you know, that style, maybe like silver. So I'm not sure exactly like what their game plan is, but uh, I think she said that their kitchen is going to have like maybe some marbling effect, like wood detail and like gold accents. So we saw this little set and we're not sure exactly what's gonna go in them. I thought they would actually be really cute as like little candy jars. They could also do flour, sugar, I'm sure, and just whatever, um, but I don't know what the price of this was, but it's a really cute set. And these typically go for quite a bit on Amazon sometimes. So I think we got we got a good deal picking this up at Walmart. So we got that. Okay, let me go through these bags. All right, next up are hand soaps. Another reason why I just thought this will just be best buying all of this at home because again, College Town, 
everybody's doing the same thing and items like these tend to just fly off the shelves. That was my experience last year. We really didn't have the same experience like her freshman year moving her into her dorm because I think I did quite a bit of the shopping at home. Um, but then her sophomore year, we did the majority of the shopping moving her in there and it was just chaos and I said never again. So um, yeah, so we got some soap and it's the method. She got sweet water, which is this one, and then waterfall and then lemon mint. I think this one will be really nice like in the kitchen. And then I guess like these two can be her bathroom. More cleaning products. We just got this tub of the Cascade. Um, what are they calling these? Dishwashing detergents, but they just call them like packs or action packs. I really don't know. But again, I'm more of like liquid. I pour like the liquid kind into my dishwasher, but she likes the like, tablets. That was the word I was looking for. So yeah, so we got a thing of that. And then we also got stuff like cotton balls, cotton rounds. She's going to have like all of those, you know, little containers for her bathroom. She already has them now. So we'll just, you know, restock with these items. So we got that. We also picked up a lint brush. She just said it was like something that she needed. So we got that. We also picked up some nail polish remover. And the reason why we did this is because she found some nail polish and I'll show you guys that as soon as I find it. And then I said, do you have nail polish remover? And so we picked some of that up. She really doesn't paint her nails very often. We got some body lotion, the Dr. Teal's, which if you watch my Walmart hauls um, that I get stuff for this house, I have so many of these at home. They're my favorite. I'm actually wearing the coconut one today, but this is oat milk and argan oil. I also have this one myself. Really love this. She loved this smell. She tried all the scents and then this one was her favorite. So got that. We also got some body wash. What is this one? Dove uh, dryness relief with jojoba oil. Yeah, so we got that one. And oh, here's the nail polish. It is this one right here. Really pretty color. And it is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry in the color Espresso. She saw this color and just instantly thought of fall and she thought it would be a really nice color to wear um, this season and I completely agree. I think it's really pretty. But just in case you want to pick this up, the color is Espresso. So there's that. And then we picked up, you know, cotton swabs and some razors. I think she said like the ones that she likes specifically maybe were discontinued. I'm not sure. Um, so she picked up this Venus Tropical Pack. It's a three pack. They have a yellow one, a pink one, and then this blue one. They are so pretty. The next item are these Lysol Click Gels. I recently learned about these myself like two months ago. As soon as I read about them, I went and bought some and I think it was on a vlog and I put them all throughout the toilets in the house and I love these. These are amazing. You can definitely smell how clean the toilet is using these and it's really safe because it goes in the bowl and not the tank and every flush it just gets a refresh and a boost. We got that and then she said that she's been watching TikTok videos. Okay, what else is new? And she said that everyone has been talking about how when you move in, you should clean the entire place first. And I'm like, of course, but you know, she's young. She's just learning these things. And so she was like, I need these. <laughs> Here they are. So this is a fizzy drain freshener and cleaner. You can see all the little tablets that you get. Very nice. Then we have a washer and dishwasher one. Very nice. I have purchased all of these before. I actually have this still in stock and this is a garbage disposal cleaner. So we got those. And then she just wanted to pick up one of these wet ones. She likes to keep it in her purse. So there's that. We also picked up a pack of these sponges. You guys know that like I buy these religiously at Dollar Tree, but because we were at Walmart, we bought them out of convenience there. And it does come with quite a few, nine 
uh, sponges and I think it actually ended up being a lot cheaper. Uh, I also have put her on the scent boosters. I recently just got on this bandwagon myself. I really have always done my laundry like on a very basic level. Detergent, fabric softener, the end. Um, I actually uh, asked you guys for help on like this, what you guys think, how to use it, because I really had absolutely no freaking clue. And ever since you guys told me how great this stuff was, not necessarily like this brand in particular, I just mean like the product itself. Um, I've been using it and holy moly, it really does give like a scent boost to your laundry. And she really has noticed it and liked it. So we picked up this one. It's the Downy Unstoppables um, in the scent fresh. I really don't know. So she's gonna do that. And then I got her on this. And she was like, what's that spray you use because of the cleaning lady? And I'm like, the cleaning lady? Her name's Vanessa. But I told her, I said, this will clean absolutely anything, according to Vanessa, right? Uh, just your kitchen, your bathroom, the whole thing. So we got her one of these. We also picked up these because she has used the Mr. Clean before, I guess in her last apartment, and she really likes this. So for her, she got this for her dishes, by the way. Um, that's what she wants to use this for. But she is very particular, I guess you could say, about her cleaning regimen. Uh, she likes a certain product or a certain brand for certain spaces. And yeah, it's just a thing for her because she's just, she, yeah, germs are a thing for her. So um, we picked up the Mr. Clean and this is the Lemon Zest. And then we've got the original, which this one has like gain in it. But I think she said one's for the kitchen, one's for the bathroom. And that's actually it. That was the very last item for the Walmart haul. Really glad we got these things out of the way. They're just, they're the core things, or at least a lot of this, you know, hand soap, uh, cleaning products, paper towels, toilet paper, laundry stuff, dishwashing stuff. So really relieved we got a lot of this out of the way. I hope you guys are gonna get excited for this college series. I think it's gonna be really fun. I don't think I've ever done an official college series videos, but I'm very excited to share all of this with you guys. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, bye.